Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm back with the second part of the 31st week of the weeklypokerhand.com where today I'm going to be taking a look at this hand from my opponent's point of view. And again, this is from a $10,000 buy-in tournament. We are extraordinarily deep stacked. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So right here, whenever Jay Cardshark raises, who is you know fairly loose, aggressive raiser, I definitely like a 3-bet or a fold from Action Jeff. I mean, I guess a call is okay as well. Whenever you're this deep stack, you have to realize, though, that if you do flop an ace, you're not just looking to blatantly get away from your hand with no problem. So as long as you realize that is the case, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with calling here. However, I do think 3-betting is also a very valid play. So he does 3 bets and Jay Cardshark calls. And right here, whenever you 3-bet in Action Jeff's spot, you should expect Jay Cardshark to call a pretty wide range, particularly in a large buy-in tournament where he's not really looking to just go broke early in the tournament. And, you know, certainly no one's really looking to go broke early in a $10,000 buy-in tournament. So flop comes uh, King, Queen, 5. Jay Cardshark checks. Action Jeff should certainly fire out a bet here. This is a spot where if Jay Cardshark has any low pair he's certainly going to just get out of the way here. And that's definitely what you want whenever you have something like uh, ace high. Also, if he does have one of the draws, like say he has, I don't know, jack 10, jack 9, something like that, you also want him to get out of the way. Or at least you want to charge him to try to get there. So I think right here this is a pretty good spot to go throw out a bat. When Jay Card Shark calls, I think his range is going to look a lot like... Um, a king, a queen, a five, or one of the draws. And seeing how the five doesn't really change the board too much, I think this is a pretty good spot just to go ahead and check back and sort of give up on the hand. And you're never really looking to just get away from your hand, but it's a pretty good spot too. On the nine, River, J Card Shark checks. At this point, Action Jeff really can't beat much. So even though he is sitting here with... You know, pretty decent looking hand nine. It's it's effectively a bluff here. So if um, Action Jeff bets here, it's, it pretty much is a bluff. And I'm never really a huge fan of throwing out bluffs in this spot, but you know, I don't like hate it. I think so. I think this is a spot where you can throw out a bluff. But like I said, if Jay Carshard does have a king, a queen, or five, he's just never folding. And if he does have one of the draws, well, a lot of those just got in. So. I like a check back here. I think it's a spot where you just sort of have to give up on the hand. And that is what happens, and Jay Carshart wins the hand. So this is a spot where I actually think both players play their hands very well, and, you know, sometimes whenever two good players play a hand, someone's going to win, someone's going to lose, and no one really does anything wrong. And I think that's exactly what we're looking at right here. So if you guys have any questions, or if you'd like me to review one of your hands, please let me know. This has been Jonathan Little for weeklypokerhand.com. Thanks for watching.